Hello and welcome to IndianMoney.com's YouTube channel. My name is Fayaz. In the year 2020, not only we faced coronavirus, but we also have witnessed that almost 16 companies have raised more than 25,000 crore rupees by issuing their shares. And one such company which is going to be next in the list is Burger King. Burger King India is going to be issuing its fresh lot of shares in the form of IPO. And uh, this will be happening in uh, on December 2nd and it will be closing on 4th of December. So let's understand, let's uh, have an analysis of this entire company. Let's understand whether their numbers are good, whether the entire issue is actually tempting enough so that we can invest our money in this. So stick with this video till the end and also without a further ado let's get started so number one aspect that we have to understand is that uh, Warren Buffett world's number one investor has uh, basically given the statement a lot of times in his videos he has mentioned that he only invests in the kind of companies that he understand the the analytics of coca-cola apple and uh, also in amazon i think he has invested a certain amount of his uh, corpus or his investment is in amazon as well so to understand Burger King's entire fundamental, we also have to understand the India's food and services industry, basically the restaurant business. How big is this market and also what all things get covered in this. So let's have a look at this chart. So if you notice that India's restaurant and food service industry basically is divided into two major categories. It is organized form and unorganized form. So in the organized form, it basically covers 30 to 35% of the market and also the unorganized format covers the 65 to 70% which means in the organized it covers dining uh, which includes fine dining casual dining etc and also covers bar lounges cafes food courts kiosks etc and also the quick service restaurants which have recently emerged and uh, takeaways home deliveries etc which we all majorly use while we are using our food delivery applications and talking about the unorganized sector it covers the dhabas roadside eateries street stalls hawkers trolleys standalone sweet shops etc so now that you have understood a little bit more about uh, the India's uh, food service industry, let's have an understanding about this particular IPO and let's understand what all uh, are basically being covered in this particular IPO and how much money is the company trying to raise with this entire issue. So if you notice here on the chart that uh, the IPO date is on uh, December 2nd, it's going to be started and on December 4th, it will be concluded. So it's an IPO, which is uh, the initial public offering issue type. Talking about the issue size, they're trying to accumulate almost 810 crore rupees and also talking about the fresh issue is going to be almost 450 crore rupees off of a sale will be almost around 360 crore rupees so obviously the company will not be taking the entire 810 crore rupees from one particular person they will be obviously dividing this entire cake into different pieces so let's understand what will be the cost of per piece and how is it going to impact our investment strategy so the face value of this share are going to be 10 rupees per equity share but although since it's an ipo so uh, the ipo price is going to be around 59 to 60 rupees per equity share talking about the market lots you can uh, take up to 250 shares and on the minimum order quantity is also 250 shares and these shares will be listed on uh, india's uh, top two investment uh, platforms the bsc and the nsc and now that you have understood that the per share is going to be somewhere around 59 to 60 rupees, that doesn't mean that you can invest at least like just by one share. You have to minimum, there is certain minimum order quantity that you have to abide by and it will cost you something. So let's understand what is the minimum investment required to buy these IPOs. So uh, if you look at this another chart on the screen, now the minimum order is going to be 250 shares, which is going to be 15,000 rupees and the maximum that one person can buy is up to 13 lots which means up around 3,250 shares which is going to cost you 1,95,000 rupees. So it's going to be quite a huge issue and company is certainly having very aggressive plans. I have uh, actually heard the interview of company's uh, big boss from uh, India and he has mentioned that they are planning to uh, increase their spread out of chains across the nation and by the year December uh, 2026 they have plans of going up to at least 700 restaurants they're trying to open up and they are basically trying to have a number of 700 restaurants by the year end of December 2026 so let us now understand further aspects of this entire issue so currently the company's uh, equity holding is here if you notice on the chart 
somewhere around 99.39 percent the company's equity is still with his main uh, big bosses but now after the issue the company is going to dilute almost 40 percent of its ownership and it will be standing alone with its uh, ownership of now 60.08 which means company is almost diluting 40% of its ownership so company is now currently looking very aggressively to ensure that they not only establish more and more branches but they also want to scale up their level they have a lot of competition already existing in this particular sector there is Domino's there is McD there is KFC there are so many other big brands that have already been like the first movers they have entered the market much before Burger King entered and have got their fan base and also the loyalty of the fans is also with these particular brands but now let us understand the dates the timeline of this entire IPO so if you notice this another chart that's going to come on the screen you'll notice that the bid offer opens on December 2nd the bid offer closes on December 4th finalization on the basis of the allotment will be by December 9th 2020 talking about the initiation of uh, refunds so for those who have uh, not been able to convert their uh, order into buying the share they will be given the refund refunds by December 10th 2020 and talking about the credit of shares to the DMAT account so the ones who have successfully bought the shares it will reflect in their DMAT accounts by December 11th and the IPO shares listing date is going to be 14th December 2020. So I hope this video has helped you a little bit more to understand what is the minimum amount required to buy this particular share and also whether you should buy or it or not that's going to be ultimately your call because uh, we cannot tell you whether to buy or not but we can definitely help you to understand uh, the fundamentals of stock market by referring you one more beautiful course that we have developed on the financial freedom app which is basically the stock market course where we have given you a step by step analysis of how to figure out whether a company is good or not how to read the fundamentals of the company how to understand whether the company is worth investing your money or not so if you haven't downloaded the app you can definitely download it the link of which is provided in the description box and there you can check out a lot of other courses besides the stock market course there is another there are other courses on personal finance money matters farming career building etc so do check it out and also if you like this video give us a like and also let us know your feedback in the comment section and uh, if you haven't already please do subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from indianmoney.com my name is Fayaz and you're watching indianmoney.com